Here we have an interesting problem to sketch a plane where d equals to 0. Uh, when we say d equals to 0, we are referring to the equation of the plane as ax plus by plus cz plus d equals to 0. So in this case, we are saying this d, the constant term, to be 0. Now sketch a plane through origin with normal along 3 minus 2, 0. So when we say is the plane is going through origin, that means the point origin, that is 0, 0, 0, is contained in the plane. Second thing is we are given equation of, we are not given the equation of the plane, but we are given normal to the plane, which is 3 minus 2, 0. So that is the normal. Now, if the normal is 3 minus 2, 0, we can find the equation of the plane. So the equation of the plane pi could be written as 3x minus 2y and now this is 0 and d is also 0 for us since 0 0 0 if I put 0 0 0 here I get d equals to 0 so initially let us say this is this plus 0 times 0 as a c value times g plus d right equals to 0 now if I substitute 0 0 0 because this point is contained in the plane what do I get I get so if I put point zero zero, that means 3 times 0 minus 2 times 0 plus 0 times 0 plus d equals to 0. That gives us d as equal to 0. Correct? So the d value in this particular case is 0 and the equation of the plane pi is equals to 3x minus 2y equals to 0. So that is the equation of the plane. Now since the normal has no component along the z-axis, we know that the plane should be parallel to the z-axis. Now, one more thing. Since the point is already, origin is on the plane, that means the z-axis is actually contained in the plane. Do you understand? So, so that means the point is contained in the plane and we are not moving. There is no component along z-axis. That means the plane actually moves along the z-axis and so the z-axis is actually contained in the plane itself. Do you understand? So it's kind of a binder in a book with some leaves, right? So that is how the plane will look like. Now here we have 3x minus 2y equals to 0 as the equation of the plane. So from here we can actually draw the line. So we have this line 3x minus 2y we can draw this line on because x and y intercepts are origin. Do you see that? So we have origin as a point. So how to draw this kind of a plane? That is a big problem. So what we can do is we can relate 3x. We can find the equation of this line and that will be the line of intersection between the plane and the xy plane. Right? So this is our xy plane. So from here we can see that 2y equals to 3x or y equals to 3 over 2x correct so so we can plot we can take different points for x let us say we take 2 as a point then y will be 3 so we have a point 1 2 then y will be 3 1 2 3 so we get this point and 0 is already in the plane right so we get a plane like this so that becomes the plane for us do you see that so this plane is the plane pi we are talking about. That is the plane. Now this particular line indicates the intersection of the plane with xy plane. And that is how we sketch a plane like this. I hope you understand and that gives you the figure. And this plane extends parallel to z-axis with one edge on on the z itself do you see that so it looks like uh, bound with what z axis and that is how you get the sketch of the plane right and this line which is 3x minus 2y equals to 0 is also the intersection of plane with xy plane right so we have intersection of plane pi with xy plane as 
3x minus 2y equals to 0, right? So 3x minus 2y equals to 0 represents actually the plane pi, but this is the line which is common to your plane and the xy plane. So that is also the intersection. And xyz intercepts, what are the xyz intercepts? We have x intercept, y intercept, and z intercept as origin. 0, 0, 0. All the three intercepts are right there at the origin. So this particular sketch represents the given equation of the plane. Thank you.